Hello friends and welcome. Now imagine a world where every step taken is a step into the unknown, where the path of life winds like a river through a landscape rich in wonder and replete with the unexpected. That's where we're headed today, together, as we meander down the roads once traveled by a man whose name has become synonymous with pondering life's rich tapestry, Michel de Montaigne. As we settle into our journey, let's consider the scenery around us, a vast expanse where each thought is a tree, each reflection a stone underfoot, and every insight a bird in flight. Montaigne's world was one of turmoil and transformation, yet within his quiet study, he crafted a universe of introspection, a mirror in which we still see ourselves reflected. Through his essays, he painted landscapes of the human condition with a brush dipped in the ink of his own experience. But what is this terrain, you ask? It is the philosophical landscape of our own existence, a maze of questions and pathways asking to be explored. Montaigne was not just a writer. He was an artist of thought, each essay a careful stroke on the canvas of understanding. He invites us to wander along with him, not toward a destination, but as an exercise in the journey itself. Now let's ignite that spark of curiosity with a question that Montaigne himself might pose. What can the meandering of one man's mind teach us about the nature of our own existence? It's a question as open-ended as the sky above, yet as personal as the ground beneath our feet. Let us delve into the core aspects of Montaigne's philosophy, for within his essays, there is a treasure trove of insight. Montaigne reminds us that to know oneself is a journey with many detours. He writes, I study myself more than any other subject. That is my metaphysics. That is my physics. Like a farmer tending to his fields, Montaigne cultivated self-awareness and personal growth, sowing seeds of wisdom that continue to bear fruit. As we meander, we find that his writings are not didactic lessons, but conversations with a friend. Montaigne's embrace of doubt and uncertainty serves as an anchor in the shifting sands of thought. His essays are akin to stones skimming across the surface of a deep pond, each idea touching the water briefly before giving way to the next, leaving ripples that widen and intersect. Montaigne's voice is not the only one that echoes in these halls of contemplation. His contemporary René Descartes once said, I think, therefore I am. But Montaigne might gently counter with, I doubt, therefore I think, therefore I am. This interplay of thought where Descartes' sharp clarity contrasts with Montaigne's rich ambiguity is a conversation spanning centuries. To Montaigne, life itself was a book to be written, not just read. The greatest thing in the world is to know how to belong to oneself, he muses, inviting us to author our own stories. We see philosophical parallels in history when examining events through Montaigne's lens. Take, for instance, the Renaissance, a time of intellectual rebirth resonating with Montaigne's desire for personal enlightenment. His essays became a conduit through which the ideas of the past were examined anew against the light of contemporary thought. As we face our own renaissance of information and connectivity, Montaigne's call to sift through knowledge with a critical eye is as relevant as ever. Let's consider the ethical implications and moral considerations Montaigne places before us. In an era where religious wars raged, he sought a middle ground, pleading for tolerance and understanding. His essay on cannibals confronts us with our own prejudices, challenging the very notion of barbarism. What does it mean to be savage or civilized? Montaigne's exploration of cultural relativism invites us to ponder where we stand when the mirror is turned upon ourselves. In cultural reflections, Montaigne's influence is clear. His musings can be felt in the existential ponderings of literature, the complex harmonies of music, and the nuanced storytelling of film. Take Shakespeare's Hamlet, for instance, whose soliloquies echo Montaigne's introspective style, grappling with the nature of being and nothingness. To be or not to be is a question that might have easily sprung from Montaigne's own quill. 
Contemporary discussions and debates continue to orbit around Montaigne's essays. In our search for authenticity amidst the curated selves of social media, Montaigne's exhortation to speak the truth rings as a clarion call. How do we balance our private selves with the personas we project? In an age of information overload, Montaigne's appreciation for the slow considered thought is a refreshing palate cleanser. The relevance and importance of Montaigne's reflections in our modern context cannot be overstated. In a world grappling with polarization, his advocacy for introspection and civil discourse serves as a lighthouse guiding us through turbulent waters. As we face the future, Montaigne's legacy prompts us to ask not just what will happen, but who we will become in the process. Bringing together these ideas, let us synthesize a statement that captures our exploration. In the essays of Montaigne lies a map of the human spirit, each line a trail of thought, each word a step towards understanding. We are the sum of our reflections, the architects of our existence, and in the meandering of our minds, we find the contours of our souls. I want to thank you for joining me on this philosophical stroll. I hope it has sparked a flame that will light your way as you navigate the winding paths of your own life. Consider these questions. What truths about yourself have you uncovered in the mirror of introspection? How will these insights shape the narrative of your life? As we part ways, remember that the pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end, one that weaves through the past and into the future, a tapestry of which we are all a part. May you walk it with curiosity, courage, and a heart open to the lessons it offers. Goodbye, my friends, until our paths cross again. Keep wandering, keep wondering, and above all, keep the pages of your own essays turning.